In this video, let's see about Eagle syndrome. Eagle syndrome uh, also called by the names Stylohyoid syndrome, Stylohyoid syndrome, etc. It is first described by American otorhinolaryngologist Watt Weems Eagle in 1937, hence the name Eagle syndrome. Okay, let's go into Eagle syndrome. In this, in this X-ray, you can see it is an anterior posterior and lateral radiographs of cervical spine showing ossification of stylohyoid ligament on both the sides. You can see in the X-ray in which arrow marks indicates is the elongation of the stylohyoid process. <laughs> what is Eagle syndrome? In Eagle syndrome occurs due to elongation of the stylohyoid process or calcification of the stylohyoid ligament. You can see now. It is the elongation of the stylohyoid ligament. The cause of the elongation is not clear. It could occur spontaneously or could arise since birth. Usually, normally, stylohyoid process is 2.5 to 3 cm in length and longer than 3 cm is classified as elongated stylohyoid process and hence signs and symptoms occur and hence it is called Eagle syndrome. The signs and symptoms in which the possible signs and symptoms includes are sharp shooting pain in the jaw, back of the throat, base of the tongue, ears, neck and face. Sensation of having a foreign object in the throat, pain from chewing, swallowing, turning the neck or touching the back of the throat and certain other symptoms which includes difficulty in swallowing, ringing or buzzing in the ears. The classic Eagle syndrome is present on only one side, however rarely it may be present on both the sides. In vascular Eagle syndrome, the elongated styloid process comes in contact with the internal carotid artery below the skull. In these cases, the turning the head can cause compression of the artery or a tear inside the blood vessel which restricts blood flow and can, and can potentially lead to transient ischemic attack or stroke. Sometimes, compression of the internal jugular vein can also occur and might lead to increased intracranial pressure. Diagnosis is suspected when a patient presents with symptoms of a classic form of Eagle syndrome. For example, possible signs and symptoms which include unilateral neck pain, sore throat or tinnitus. Sometimes the tip of the stylar process may be such long that it is palpable in the back of the throat. Imaging is important and is diagnostic. Visualizing the stylar process on a CT scan with a 3D reconstruction is the suggested imaging technique. The enlarged styloid may be visible on an orthopantogram or a lateral soft tissue x-ray of the neck. And <coughs> in both the classic and the vascular form, treatment is surgical. A partial styloidectomy is the preferred approach of choice. And for medical management includes usually Eagle syndrome, a patient may experience severe pain. And as a possible, we, we, we saw no certain uh, signs and symptoms. The most common uh, symptom is pain. And for pain, medical management may include use of anti-inflammatory medications and corticosteroids. Thank you.